summer is winding down, and the kids are getting ready to go back to school, as August ushers in the amazing games of the fall. But don't look past the next 30 days. They're a great warm-up for things to come with at least one Game of the Year contender as we finally find the droids we've been looking for. Here are the video games worth buying in August 2024. You may be wondering why a Star Wars video game from 2002 has made our list of recommendations 22 years later. That's because this revival of the PS2 and GameCube classic is a great hors d'oeuvre for the main course being served at the end of the month. With all the hype around The Mandalorian, it's a great time to play as a bounty hunter. Plus, the biggest of them all, Boba Fett, is being added as new content for this revival. It's a fairly simple third-person shooter, but one a lot of you may have missed the first time around. Because, have we mentioned, the original game is now 22 years old, which makes us feel old. We try not to include DLC and Dossier, but Helldivers 2 is one of the biggest smash and surprise hits of 2024. Who could have seen a rogue cooperative alien shooter becoming the next big thing? But it launched in a dry period, and its homage to the Starship Troopers franchise has proven to be exceedingly powerful. The game's developers have done a great job so far with post-launch support, and the Escalation of Freedom update is its biggest drop yet with new enemies, mission objectives, difficulty levels, and so much more. The developers behind the game have declared that they're listening to fans. But what does that mean exactly? Would you like to know more? Last year's Madden NFL 24 is one of the lowest reviewed in recent memory, but honestly, the last five years really haven't been all that great. So why include it in this show? Because we just played College Football 25, which is pretty awesome so there's hope that EA's Pro Game might improve this season. So far, the announced new features in Madden NFL 25 haven't raised many eyebrows. The big bullet points include a new tackling system called Boom Tech, which is really just an extension of its existing Field Sense Tech. There's also the new Ultimate Control Mechanic that will help you shed defenders as you try to hit pay dirt. Then there are the new kickoff rules that you'll get to try out before the real NFL players do. EA's NFL game is kind of teetering on the brink of missing the playoffs. This season is really important. One of the bigger emerging trends is the high quality of video games being created in South Korea and China. Often in the past, we'd receive flashy trailers, but the games themselves would either end up canceled or just flat out terrible. That's all changed over the last half decade, and Black Myth Wukong is the next big litmus test. This hack and slash action RPG isn't quite as difficult as the Dark Souls games, but it's close. It's yet another piece of pop culture based on Journey to the West, which is arguably the most popular literary work in East Asia. Will it resonate with Western audiences in the case of Monkey See, Monkey Do? It certainly looks the part with its glossy visuals and active combat, but Elden Ring's DLC might have already squeezed that market. Concord is the embodiment of PlayStation's recent new strategies. It stated it wanted to create more ongoing games as a service. Check. It stated it wanted to release more games for PC. Check there too. But checking boxes might also be the downfall of this competitive 5 vs 5 hero shooter. After two betas where the public was able to give it a go, impressions have been muted. Perhaps it's because it does little to set it apart from other games in the subgenre. Maybe it's because it looks like a knockoff of Guardians of the Galaxy. Or maybe it's because it costs 40 bucks when most games like this are free to play. Or just maybe, everyone knows there's a brand new Marvel-based hero shooter right around the bend. Regardless, this game isn't tracking great, but we played it and had a good time. It's competent, well-constructed, and very pretty. Keep your eyes on the reviews for this one. The MMORPG feels like it's enjoying a resurgence of late. Last month, we recommended the new expansion for Final Fantasy XIV called Dawn Trail. Now, here in August, we're pushing you towards the latest big update to the granddaddy of them all. World of Warcraft The War Within expansion takes place in a brand new underground realm called Kaz Algar, which obviously includes a multitude of unexplored zones. The plot focuses on rescuing Azeroth from the harbinger of the void, Zal Atah. Other new territories like Kaz Algar and the city of Dornagal mean that you won't be spending all your time fumbling around in the dark. There are also eight new dungeons and a raid to mix things up. 
Dynamic flying is the new, but not really, gameplay mechanic. It allows you to mount flying creatures and take to the skies, but this feature was already a big part of the Dragonflight expansion. Regardless, this is a big update to the industry leader. Nintendo and mature rated games are infrequent bedfellows. Try to think of an M-rated game that Nintendo has published over the last half decade. It's not easy to think of one. So this is why MEO, The Smiling Man, has made waves since it was announced. This adult-focused detective adventure is a sequel to Famicom Detective from over 30 years ago. And the crazy part is some of the original developers have returned to work on it. If you're looking for something different this month, or just something new for Switch, this is the game. When you think of hack and slash games, visions of slicing and dicing through dozens of enemies at a time in the Dynasty Warriors franchise comes to mind. But robots like swords too. Well, at least the mobile suits in the Gundam franchise do. Gundam Breaker 4 includes over 250 base kits, including mechs from the Witch from Mercury animated series. But you don't have to just rely on the dusty old suits the game gives you. There are 11 different customizable parts on each one that allows you to build the slaughter machine of your dreams. You can even create your own combos by equipping two weapons at the same time. Online play is there if you want to hack and build with friends. Square Enix probably releases more RPGs than any other major industry publisher. It has Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, and so many others. The Mana series used to sit at the head of the So Many Others table, but it's been MIA for 15 years now. A disappointing remaster of Secret of Mana hasn't dampened the publisher's enthusiasm though, as it delivers this action RPG in hopes of reviving one of its dead franchises. Visions of Mana's open world design allows for some flexibility as you escort your childhood bestie to the Mana Tree, where she will offer up her soul to renew the power of magic. It's a tragic tale told with strikingly colorful and contrasting visuals. If you're a Star Wars fan like us, then you've been waiting for a game like Star Wars Outlaws your entire life. An open world, go anywhere and do anything game set in everyone's favorite space opera has been high on the geek wish list for almost two decades. Well, the day has finally come. An open world expert Ubisoft is the publisher delivering the goods. But don't go thinking this is Assassin's Creed Tatooine, though that would be pretty cool too. This game truly focuses on one of the more prominent Star Wars vocations, the Thieving Scoundrel. Set between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, new character Kay Vess bumps up against some of the biggest characters from the films while trying to keep various factions happy with her vocational skills, all while planning the biggest heist of all time. It's a unique angle with a brand new protagonist and a cute critter. It's checking almost all the boxes and we're here for it. Thanks for checking out our rundown of all the games worth buying in August 2024. There are many other games worth considering this month and you can find your next favorite at sifted.net where you tell us what you care about and we give you a custom feed of content full of your favorite games, creators, streamers, websites, and more. If you like what we're doing, head to patreon.com sifted and support independent gaming outlets with no conflict of interest. We'll see you again in September when things get really cooking. Just figure it out! There's a lot of troopers out here!